Okay, here's the first act. It's sort of a telly shape here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lipstick pickup in here. I'm going to have to take this off, grind a hole in it, because it's it only has a small cutout inside here. And what I'm going to do right now is fix this nut. And you can see this E-string goes all the way down. It's like, it's indented, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all these up because they seem a little bit low to me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and clean this up real good. Then I'll take a mixture of uh, drywall uh, filler and uh, super glue. Then fill these holes up a little bit. Uh, so they don't seat down as far because basically this fret here was kind of buzzing and so uh, First thing I'm gonna do is just clean these up a little bit make sure there's no debris inside here And then I'm going to fill them with a proprietary mixture of super glue and a hard as rock uh, drywall filler some people use uh, they use uh, baking baking powder instead but uh, I'm just gonna use uh, I don't have any baking powder handy so I'm gonna use this drywall filler it's actually a similar color to this nut okay so here it is. Basically, I taped it off so I didn't get slop all over the place. This is the putty that I use. That, and then this. It actually didn't go in too good. It didn't... It dries like in three seconds, so it's hard to mix this stuff up. And have it so that it sets up. You can see I tried to mix it with this. And it just clumped up. But, uh... What I ended up doing is just, like, these the small E string I just ended up filling it in I didn't I couldn't grab any of this filler to get in there it just wouldn't get in there in time to fill it so I just dabbed a little bit of this in there and that worked okay so this one has a slight bow in it um, we pulled these up but it buzzes right here so it'll buzz right there basically and if we look at this neck you'll see that it bows slightly outward this way so it's got kind of a, a good crown on it kind of like this way look at it look at both ways you can see I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically it has... Let's see, is there a way I can do this here? Look at this side. Let's see. There's just a slight bow in it. It's actually more than slight. And it's a little more than I think should be there. <clears throat> I think you're supposed to have a slight bow. But this is this one is just a little bit more than slight, I believe. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it just looks like there's a little bit more bow in that's supposed to be. And this uh E string, I couldn't actually bring I could bring it up a little bit more, but still it's buzzing. And so is it that one is buzzing I can't bring it up much more over that nut it'll fall off so I think that I need to adjust the truss rod I need to loosen the truss rod because it's got bow in it right now if we loosen the truss rod uh, the bow should go up this way more and counteract that other bow then also I might try loosening these to lower that a little bit, um, but I don't think that's going to... I think I'm going to have to uh, adjust the truss rod for that. And... This one here is set low. You can see that these still have a little bit of length to go up. 
So I can bring this one up a little bit more and it may solve the buzz there. And so I'm thinking I'm going to put a tele, tele uh, switch right here. We've, we have room in the cutout for the tele switch here on this one. But I'm going to have to grind a hole for the, uh, the tele lipstick pickup here. And, uh, and carve a place for the wire to go. Because it's all solid in here. Hopefully it won't change the tone of the guitar much. not tuned up uh, it always works me when I see those guys go oh, we're putting new strings on and just cut those things off yeah so for all those guys that cut those off just think of all the poor people that could have it for strings um, okay so I just I adjusted the truss rod just a little bit I loosened it it, it didn't really do much good because there's a little bit of a, a wave in, in this part right here it's just not a, a quality piece of neck right here. And uh, I lifted these up here. So I don't have any buzz now on that E string there. And or I don't have any buzzes on any of them now. It's not tuned up, but uh, this string, this whatever low E is is still problematic because if I press here press here it buzzes it's kind of like a sitar <laughs> but uh, yeah so uh, still buzzes because there's a little bit of a hump right here in this neck and I could possibly take these frets down a little bit to just do a custom job on this thing. But uh, I'm not sure exactly how to do this because if I cut this fret down a little, then that one, I'll have to cut that one down a little bit. And it doesn't buzz there though. So I don't know, it might be kind of tricky cutting these frets down, but that's probably the only way I can make this work without buzzing. Uh, like I said, right here, it will buzz. Here, buzzes a little bit. Might have to take these two. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to do that. I might have to take a little bit off these two. There, it sounds okay. I don't know if yeah, has anybody ever put shims under these. Because I was thinking about shimming this up because these screws are already turned out as far as they can go. These here. They they look a little bit high to me all the way around. Um, not sure what the intonation is. I don't have a... That one sounds pretty good. But uh, I haven't tried to tune this thing up yet just because I have that buzz on on these frets and uh, I'll try and tune it up and see if it holds a tune for a couple of days and then uh, and I'll get my my uh, my Kelly pickup and then I'll put my Kelly switch in here and uh, it's a funny thing I noticed I was watching these blues players and most of the early blues players always have their pickup up here they don't have it back here they have it up here so I don't know that's just something I noticed I'm kind of fascinated with this stuff as you can tell but uh anyway I'm gonna tune this thing up see if it holds a tune for a couple of days and uh and wait for my new uh pickup to come in and I'll have to cut a get a dremel and cut a little hole for the switch wire the switch up and uh I don't know if it's worth putting in all this work because this this neck is a little bit funny right here but uh you know, I've already ordered the parts, and uh, so I'm just going to give it a try and see how it works out. Stay and so anyway, uh, that's your guitar tip for today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.